Hey everybody, Scott Steen with winnersandwiners.com coming to you from the Chris Carino studio deep in the bowels of the Winners and Winners Sports and Entertainment Complex to talk about today's Deep Three. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe, especially uh, especially if you're uh, if you just found us and you're digging the videos, uh, give us a thumbs up, give us a subscribe, and when you subscribe, make sure you click the little bell there beside the subscribe button, and that will give you the update whenever we post a brand new video, and you'll be able to go right to it. Um, as always, don't forget to check out the website statsalt.com and winnersandwiners.com for a deep dive into every game on the board, not just today but every single day of the year. And most importantly, don't forget to leave your comments. Tell me what you're playing. Tell us if you're tailing us, if you're fading us, if you got some other great picks. Man, we had a bunch of cappers put up some real nice picks yesterday. A lot of winners. A lot of winners out there. And we'll uh, we'll get to those in the shout-outs because that's what we do. You hit a couple, and uh, we'll, give you, we'll give you a shout-out here at the end of the video. So, uh, on we go, everybody. Not a bad... Uh, not a bad day. Got a little bit of mojo back. Went three and zero. Didn't really have to sweat uh, too much at all. A little bit, little bit there in the uh, in the South Florida game at the very end. But other than that, pretty good night for us. So we will take that, and we will uh, try to move forward. And a uh, quick word for all of the people that just found us, all of our new folks. Uh, once for, uh, for starters, welcome. And uh, the other thing I wanted to touch on was the fact that is a little bit of. Uh, Confusion about which picks are my picks and which picks are the writer's picks since I do all the videos. Um, the short uh, five-star minute picks are all coming from our handicappers over at statsalt.com or winnersandwiners.com. The only picks I make myself that I personally endorse are these picks right here. The three, the, the, the uh, five-star, not the, uh, the deep threes and the fab fives. Those are my picks as well as, uh, you know, individual uh, previews of uh, the bigger games, the... Uh, playoffs and uh, the NFL stuff. Those are all mine as well. So uh, there you have it. So welcome aboard. Good to have you guys with us. Let's go on. Taking, uh, taking a look at our first game tonight. It's the NBA and uh, loving a little bit of the Nets at the Houston Rockets. Houston is a four-point favorite. Okay, guys, I'm convinced. Uh, I think Harden with me and the first three people to comment today, uh, you put us on the court, I think we're still going to cover. Uh, Houston, Harden is on fire, and he has taken them to the promised land. Um, they've averaged 118.2 points over their last eight home games. That's 7.2 points over their season average. That's strong right there. In addition, they're playing a little better defense. They're allowing 1.7 points uh, less per game uh, their last eight than their season average as well. The Nets, on the other hand, going in the other direction. They've averaged... Uh, Six points under their season average, the last six on the road. Uh, you want to throw us a little, little uh, trends at it? How about this? Houston, 7-1. and one. Uh, ATS, their last eight. Brooklyn, 2-4 two, two and four. ATS, their last six on the road. Those are the last eight um, on, at home, by the way, for Houston. Uh, and, as a little cherry on top, uh, Brooklyn, their depth. Those guys are kind of banged up right now. A couple guys questionable. Uh, that are further down there on the bench, so that's not going to help matters any. I got to tell you, I love Houston right here. We're going to ride this train until it stops, and we're going to uh, we're going to the well a couple times tonight with a couple of our old favorites. This is one of them. Take the Houston Rockets minus the four points. All right, into the world of college basketball. Ah, uh, you know it, you love it. Here it is. It's the uh, it's the biweekly K State under situation. We're looking at the uh, K State Wildcats. And the Oklahoma Sooners total in that game is 129. Now, guys, eventually we're going to be in a situation where we're going to be in a buy situation with the K State under. I don't think we've got there yet because they've got a really good opponent uh, to keep the total under in Oklahoma. Uh, Oklahoma, uh, they have yet to go over uh, on their home court. It is o the over is 06 and one, and just four and eleven overall. The Cats, if you're a regular, you know how I harp about the defense. They are still fifth in the nation in defense, allowing just 59.4 points per game. Um, a lot of that was uh, was as far as uh, taking care of in their non-con schedule. But even stepping up, playing playing the tougher opponents, they've uh, still averaged just, uh, or they have allowed just 63.2 points in five games versus Power 5 conferences. So 
The defense is not quite as strong, but still really damn good. Uh, like I said, this is a we're going to have a situation where it's going to be time to buy on K-State. I think we can get one more out of them right here. I uh, I, I like the uh, I like the game under. I went I went back and forth on the K-State team total of 61 and uh, the under 129. I think Oklahoma, uh, they, they play that slow down game just like K-State does. I think that total, uh, I think that game drags. I think the total stays under 129. All right, last game of the evening. Also a college game, Georgia Tech uh, visiting the uh, national champion in football, Clemson Tigers. And uh, Georgia Tech catching almost a full touchdown. They're, uh, they're plus six and a half in this contest. And this is another game I kind of like. Um, obviously, I like all of them. Wouldn't put them on there. But uh, Tech plays big boy defense. You know, talking about, talking about K-State, Georgia Tech is right there as well. They allow their opponents to shoot just 37% from the floor, 374 to be exact. That's good for seventh in the nation. And their three-point defense, even better. They allow just 26.9% on shots from beyond the arc, and that is good for fourth in the country. Tigers, on the mean, in the meantime, they're not helping themselves any. They do not shoot well. They shoot just 30.6% from deep, but they allow 36.9% from three. So Georgia Tech is going to be able to get their points in the situation. Uh, I like Georgia Tech in this spot right here. Uh, some trends for you, some records. Uh, Tech, 12 and 4 ATS overall, and 4 and 0 against the number on the road. Meanwhile, Clemson, kind of a mirror image of that. They are just 4 and 12 against the number, and have covered just twice in nine contests there at home. Give me a uh, uh, oh, and one more, just just for fun, uh, Georgia Tech, they uh, they pound the boards a little bit harder than Clemson does as well. They outright rebound the Tigers by ten rebounds per excuse me by two rebounds per game. That would be a mismatch with ten, but by two two rebounds per contest. I like Georgia Tech in this spot. Give me the dog. Aroo! Dogs are gonna howl. I like Georgia Tech plus. Six and a half against those Clemson Tigers. Okay, man, there's three good picks for you guys. A couple of our old favorites. Get down on those. At the end of those three contests, you can join me and a, a bunch of other people around here as we head back to the window. All right, kids. <clears throat> Excuse me. Here we go. Um, these are our shout-outs for tonight. And we indeed have a few. I'm going to start with Shane. Since I, uh, since I stiffed him the other night on his shout-out, I'm going to get him in the lead spot here. And uh, Shane, hey, man, he deserves the lead spot because he hit a three-taper, baby. Baby, he hit the uh, he hit South Florida plus the points with us. He also uh, went out, found that uh, North Carolina under, and brought it on home with the Sixers over. Nice three-teamer, brother. Wasn't even, uh, wasn't even any sweat on any of those, so that's a, that's a nice hit there. Our old buddy Double A, the astute Aardvark, had himself a night as well. He rode with us on South Florida and Virginia. He was uh, he was not a believer in the Sixers, and uh, but good news is he got down on TCU minus seven, and they definitely took care of business against the Mountaineers. There, man, what happened to Press Virginia? What happened to Bob Huggins? What happened to that team? They are. Uh, they are not good, and I know you know. I know. I know. I know. It wasn't Kanate, but that is uh, that team just is not good right now. I think K State took it out of them here when they uh, when they had that furious comeback last week. Uh, the legendary King, legendary King, he rode with us tonight. He went. Uh, he went. He hit uh, the South Florida Seventy Sixers. Oh, and uh, he also hit the Columbus. Uh, oh, excuse me. He also hit Virginia minus seven and a half. Uh, Stephen S. Uh, he rode with us on South Florida and the Sixers. He tossed in the Columbus Blue Jackets there, minus 130. They got the job done. Another no-sweat victory on that one. Nice job, Stephen. Mikey B, he hit the Georgia, North Carolina, North Carolina State, uh, and got over over on the on those as well. Good job, Mikey. Hammer and Hank. Hammer and Hank. Uh, man, had a couple of close ones there, brother. Uh, he had Virginia minus 7.5. He had the Minnesota Philly over. He had the UCF plus 13 as well. He, he, he hit all three of ours, so nice job there, man. Uh, McLeod Kicks, welcome, brother. I haven't seen, uh, haven't seen comments before. Welcome, uh, welcome, welcome aboard. Appreciate your picks. And he hit the, uh, 
He hit the Buffalo Bulls money line tonight. Nice job there in the uh, in the MAC, as we've discussed as we've discussed previously. The MAC, not exactly my forte. Uh, Super Cisco, he hit the uh, Purdue Rutgers over. Hit the T Wolves seventy sixers first half under. No, he did not hit that. <laughs> that should have been erased from the sheet. No, that would uh, that did not stay under. That was at one thirty nine at halftime. Sorry, Super. Uh, hey, we got a shout out from Greece, everybody. Opa! I was going to bring a plate and just throw it against the wall, but uh, maybe we'll do that tomorrow from Tacky. Tacky, what's up, brother? Good to have you here. Um, and, uh, hey, next time share some picks. If you're making some plays, uh, let us know what you're doing over there in, uh, in, in Greece. Beautiful, beautiful country. Very, very, uh, very, very cool place. So, uh, welcome aboard, Tacky. Uh, Miguel, down there from NOLA. You know how he does. He hit that, he hit the, he hit him a lick tonight. Hit the Minnesota Philadelphia over. Hit South Florida, hit Virginia, hit the Lakers. By the way, he won that one by a half. No sweat, brother. Who dad? And he also had the North Carolina under 155. Well done there. And no one was with us again tonight. No one. He hit Golden State. Nice job. No. Uh, Christian C. I uh, haven't seen him up there before. Welcome aboard, brother. Uh, he hit TCU, St. Joe under. Illinois State under, and Ball State. That's a fine night right there. Chris J., he just found us. Welcome aboard, Chris. Uh, he did a nice job with the deep three. He hit all three individually and a little three-team parlay. Welcome welcome, uh, welcome to Scott's videos, my friend. Nice job. Uh, as everybody here can tell you, they ain't always going to go like that, but uh, when we get hot, we get hot, and, uh, we, we, and we win a little bit. So nice job, Chris. Welcome. Um, never Troll. Never Troll was uh, kind of an ironic name for this cat because he uh, pretty much trolled the shit out of me in, uh, in one of the video picks. Uh, he did have the Warriors tonight, and after that game was over, uh, he let us know what an easy pick that was. Um, and uh, you know that's not exactly how we do it around here. I don't, care. I don't care what you say about my picks. I don't care how much you hate them or love them. I only got one rule. Tell me before the game goes off because uh, we didn't. Everybody can retro cap. That's not really a skill. Um, and he was the uh, he was the reason I talked about the individual videos because he was uh, giving me a very hard time about uh, one of the writers' videos that uh, that that we had and, and uh, advised everybody not to uh, not to tail me. So uh, yeah, that's uh, that's certainly uh, that's like your opinion, man. You know what I'm saying? Uh, if I only had my white Russian to drink right now. So uh, never hope you check out some of my videos and uh, check out some of the comments. Uh, maybe you'll, uh, you know, hang around a little bit, check us out. So, and uh, last but not least, another new cat that I haven't seen aboard, uh, Landon. Landon did a nice job tonight. He had the Lakers. He had the under in the Lakers game. He had South Florida. He had Virginia. And he brought home another SEC team there. He brought home uh, Tennessee. Brought home eight SEC, and SEC team. Brought home Tennessee. Uh, that's five winners right there, Landon. Very nicely done. Well played, sir. Well, welcome. Hope you enjoy the videos. And uh, yeah, it's all the new folks. Like I said, don't forget to like, subscribe. Check us out on our Facebook page. Check us out on Twitter. We are at Winners Winners. And uh, Facebook is Winners and Winners. So that's it, guys. Wraps us up for another day. Uh, good luck with these. We'll see you tomorrow. And uh, yeah, peace. Uh, everybody have a great, everybody have a great day. And look forward to talking to you in the comment section. See you later.